Hi, everybody. I want to give you a very quick overview of what we're going to do this week. I'm super excited about it because it is, um, it's a project that incorporates like five of the chapters that we do in this class. We're going to take a little pause on language. I know you read a couple pages uh, this weekend, but there was a conference that happened last week uh, put on by the World Economic Forum that focuses on like five of our chapters, population, migration, um, political spaces, because you're talking about people at this conference from a lot of different countries. In fact, this is a, a conference that um, people go to every year from all over the world, uh, even heads of state. When I say heads of state, I mean um, the presidents, the prime ministers, the kings, the queens, uh, yeah, yes, even dictators. Um, so you see people there from all over the world, uh, people who are running very, very large corporations and very large organizations. Um, and normally, there's no way we would be able to watch their panels or anything. But because of the, the COVID outbreak, they, of course, did it digitally this year. So one of the coolest things is that they did this, they recorded every session. Um, I had no idea they were doing that last week. I was following following it just because obviously I'm interested in global geography. Um, but they did, they recorded everything and they've put it up there for everybody to access here in the program. It's four days um, and it's um, it covers all sorts of themes. So I'm going to let you explore this website uh, soon. But first you will notice that I gave you a couple things to do in your, I'm going to make a little video here of how you should have filled in your DTM because that was the chart. Uh, it's actually super important that you understand the difference between these stage two countries and the stage four countries, right? Because many of the people who are speaking there are from the stage three countries or stage two countries. Um, but they all are working together to try to find solutions because they're trying to learn from each other. Um, so it's a really good opportunity to kind of go in and see, okay, what are they, what are their concerns and trying to understand, you know, what, what they're, what, they, how their countries are now um, stressing because of COVID. Obviously we're undergoing stresses as well. Um, but what we're, what we're seeing is nothing compared to what some of these other countries are seeing. So it's interesting to, to take a look at that and be able to compare and see what, you know, if there are areas that other, other countries can learn from. So anyway, um, the themes you'll see, uh, talked about are, um, are global in nature. So let's take a look. I want to just take you very quickly through the conference. This is the digital conference. Uh, so let me just show you what that is right here. So the sustainable development goals are um, are ways for countries to develop without tearing their country apart, basically. To keep things sustainable means you want to keep your oceans healthy, you want to keep the forests healthy, you want to keep supplies of drinking water healthy while you develop. Every country wants to develop, every country wants to have, you know, remote controls and cell phones and everything. So the question is, how do we do that in a way that doesn't, you know, destroy these, these, these populations? Um, so anyway, uh, that's what you're going to do. Let me just take you back to here. One of the things uh, that you're going to do after you just review your DTM chart is you do need to take um, some time to understand what the alliances are 
Because again, at this conference, there are people who are, are allied together in ways that is really important to recognize. And this is all from the political chapter in the book. Um, so you want to make sure you understand the military security alliances that the United States are in. You can attend this conference as a representative from the U.S. if you want, or you can attend it just as a, as a worldwide journalist wanting to get uh, information. Um, but the, I'll, with the end in mind, I'll tell you that you are going to write a review of the conference. And you'll basically have this whole week to do all of this because the, lo the longest time here is going to be to attend two of the conferences. So the reality may be that some of you move into um, you know, day three a little bit, and then I'll give you until Friday to, to finish this. But you should attend you know, uh, two sessions at least. You may start one session and realize it's not exactly what you wanted. Um, but again, you got to do your background work. Here is where you're going to look at, okay, what are the goals? Because these are all uh, dependent on those goals that the, that the United Nations, which is the largest organization that uh, almost every country in the world is a part of, uh, headquartered here in New York, actually. Some of you may have been there. Um, but the United Nations has a list of 17 goals. So the conference that you just saw, right? Normally, this is the, it changes every year what major city it's held in. Um, but this year, it was obviously all digital. So normally, it would look like that, that video I just showed you. Um, but they are working towards these goals that the United Nations sees as, as a priority. Uh, in order to basically keep stability. The United Nations has been, um, sorry, let me go back to this. Uh, the United For day two, you're focused in the United Nations. The United Nations has basically been around, it was first came out of World War I as the League of Nations, but it didn't have a military behind it to really enforce anything. So then World War II breaks out. Uh, and then it turns into the United Nations and it has a security council which is one of the biggest, most uh, important organizations. There are five permanent members of which the US is one. Um, so the United Nations has these goals basically for all countries, things like democracy, things like uh, trying to um, you know, promote fair, fair but free trade. Um, and they are looking at a list of goals. Now remember goals is always, that's what we're working towards. It doesn't mean that every single country will get there. But a goal is that this is what we want for our organization. So that's what they are looking at. It's the goals for sustainable development. You're going to make sure you understand what those goals are. So this is day two. Then day three, you will be finally ready to, to go to the conference and pick a couple breakout sessions. But I don't want you to go to the conference yet until you uh, really have a background about where we stand in the world with other countries as far as where who are our allies. Um, you know, what are, or, and, and by the way, we may have, of course we have, ally, if you're not part of our one alliance here, it doesn't mean that you're not an ally of the U.S., um, but there are a lot of alliances all over the world, too, that, that we want to, we're going to be looking at. But for this particular activity, I just wanted you to list, at least to understand what, what, what are the organizations that we are a part of. So, um, and then that's it. So then the, bo the bottom line is you're going to write a, um, an S, a little review here. Um, you should have an introduction about the overall, the overall conference. Who was there? What was it about? You know, you should be able to name the conference. Um, give it a good title, of course, at the top of your paper. And that would go right here. Um, and then I'm telling you exactly what to kind of put in your paragraphs. This is like the FRQ, I guess, if you will. Um, so you want to tell me about the two, the two, uh, this would be two paragraphs, right? Two or three paragraphs, depending. Um, explain what happened in each breakout session and evaluate it, right? Give an assessment about, about um, how it went, whether it was interesting, what you learned, anything at all. Try to keep I out of it always. Don't say I, just uh, this, you want to explain, this is what the conference was. This is who participated in the panel. This is what they said. Um, but, you know, of course, you and a critique, even the critique doesn't have to be I. You can just say, you know, one disadvantage of the workshop was that there was nobody there representing this country or whatever. Um, so you don't want to don't don't opinionate it. Make sure that you're just telling me what happened here. Um, and then, and of course a review is going to, you're going to have a bias. Everything that is ever written has a bias. 
uh, I mean, even the, the conference itself, right? Because it's put on by the, the, the United Nations. So this is, these are obviously priorities of the United Nations. So when you're done, delete all the red uh, and so that I just see your, your review at the bottom of this page. Okay, I hope you have fun with it and find, find some that you are really interested in, but do your background really well first and I'll talk to you soon.